Welcome to Spray Like Nation to another glorious day here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's Brent and Josh here. We're going to talk about concrete. We're going to talk about a mechanism of chloride intrusion and what that can mean to concrete. But Brent's fresh off his haircut, his makeup. He got his nose powdered right before we started the video. So uh. this should be all wonderful, non-shiny, and ready to talk about chlorides. And why do they matter? I thought it was pronounced chlorides. It could have been if we're in ancient times, you know, Euripides. Oh, okay. That's, that's what happens when you have to go to a tailor. What happened to these? I, Euripides. Okay, and concrete. And he, he mended these. Concrete crackadies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so why are chlorides and why do they matter? Yeah. So chlorides uh, come from a few different sources, but they're just basically chloride, you know, they're chloride ions from things like sodium chloride, which is salt or magnesium chloride, which is a kind of de-icing salt, or other kind of chloride bearing materials. Um, for years, we used things like calcium chloride in concrete, and sometimes uh, it's even still used today as an accelerator. Um, so we know there's chlorides in concrete. Chlorides happen, and even if we don't intentionally put chlorides in concrete, some some of the raw materials we use contain chlorides naturally. So chlorides being present isn't really a real bad thing unless they're moving. If they're moving, then they can interact with reinforcing steel. They can do some other things. Oh, there's some other things. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so if the chlorides are taking a ride down the superhighway of capillary and, and connected void space, yes. we got a problem. We have a problem. We have a problem, especially in reinforced concrete, or, or I don't want to say especially, but that's what comes to mind when a lot of people think about chloride, I mean chlorides. <laughs> chlorides? <laughs> <laughs> and they think they think about reinforcing steel corrosion, and rightly so, because those chlorides, when they hit a th certain threshold level, can overcome the passive layer that is surrounding the rebar that protects it from rusting. And once that passive layer is breached, according to Neville, uh, the the reaction of co rebar corrosion doesn't need anything else except for water and oxygen to self-propagate or self-continue. So those chlorides kick the whole thing off. And we all know that reinforcing steel corrosion is one of the primary reasons concrete fails sooner than we want it to. Uh, what's, what's another uh, way that, that chlorides interact with concrete, Josh? The icing salts, oxychloride formation. Yes, that's a big deal. And we're, we're, we've been talking about it lately a lot at yeah. uh, some of the conventions and, and conferences that we attend. Because they break up the air void space that, that's designed in concrete. So your exterior concrete is not able to it, shrink and swell like it's meant to be yeah because it's blocking off that ability for that concrete to use that air void space because it's now full of oxychlorides yeah those oxychlorides are filling the void space and, and imagine that that void space that normally would be there for the little ice crystals to grow when concrete fr freezes and, and that void space just gets smaller and smaller and smaller making pore pressures go up and up and up which those higher pore pressures can cause actual physical damage to the concrete. And that's why we've seen sidewalks fell in five years or joints on new concrete fell in three years is a lot of due to the de-icing salts and oxychloride formation. So clods are really bad getting into concrete and what we want to do is to slow that down. Yes. And to reduce it or to stop it altogether. In some upcoming videos we're going to talk about two different tests, specifically the NT492 and chloride ponding and what those numbers mean as far as the chloride intrusion into concrete. Yeah, sounds great. We look forward to seeing you again. Whenever you get a chance, log on, watch our videos, comment, like, subscribe, call Josh, call me, uh, take a look at concreteprotection.com and uh, let us know how we can help you on your next project. Thank you.